Sarah. Hi. How's it going? Hello. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> So tell us more about this art exhibit series that we have going on here. Yeah, RAC Squared is our local artist exhibition series, something we've been doing for three years now, and it's an opportunity for us to show the work mm -hmm. of Rochester area artists in a dedicated gallery space. So um, we seek out artists in the community, or they mm -hmm. come to us with a, a portfolio of work that they want to share um, with a a proposal for an exhibition and it gives us an opportunity to work with them on a professional level and you know what it takes to put together a cohesive body of work for an exhibition we write an essay about their work produce a gallery guide for them and give them a chance to to show their work um, mm -hmm. in a space that's also showing work from artists around the world so it's a it's a relatively new series here but something that we're really excited about and see a lot of potential with okay. Definitely sounds exciting. Would yeah. you like to show me more about this Yeah, absolutely. This series? Jenna Lee Grassley Whiting is our current artist. She's wrapping up this season of the show uh, and would love to show you her work. It's up on the third floor in the gallery. Okay, let's go check it out. classroom during the summer but um, we've converted into a gallery for nine months of the year so we can could find a space in the building to show the local artists mm -hmm. and um, it's proven to be one of our most popular uh, series in the area and mm -hmm. uh, like I said a great opportunity for us a way to take what a space that we had that was being underutilized and turn it into a place to show more art let's check it out Where'd Nora go? Hey Jenna! Hi! Nora's telling me about your art exhibit that you had going on here. Can you show me more? I would love to. Hey. Alright. Check it out. Okay. So, let's uh, talk about the elephant in the room here. <laughs> well, the elephant in the room was actually inspired by a patient. Um, I'm a distraction artist for a program called Art at the Bedside, and it is through the Rochester Art Center and Mayo Clinic. Um, this was actually done for a 16-year-old girl who had her leg amputated, and she did love elephants. Um, so she inspired me to make this. Uh, this mm -hmm. is just a larger image of one that I created for her. Um, the idea of this is it's actually a continuous line, um, but it obviously didn't turn out that way on a wall. So oh, yeah. the back, yeah, that's pretty much the backstory that it was created for a patient. And um, she did, or she has been writing a novel about her experience, and this elephant is showing up in her story. So that's cool. Yeah. So are any of these drawings based on any real people you know? Well, um, not exactly. I, this one, however, is based off of my grandma. Um, when I was younger, we used to pick these little purple flowers and she would make crowns and put them in my hair. So oh, cool. I have the same little flowers in her hair, but she's just always been such an inspiration to me. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I thought that it was only fitting to make something that I view her as. Um, I just think she's a beautiful person, so. It's very inspiring. Thank you. Um, as far as the rest of the ladies go, though, um, I didn't want to, if you, if you actually look at the features of a lot of these ladies, um, they're mm -hmm. from all different ethnicities. And the reason why they are left black and white is because I would like the viewer, um, not only just women, but for even men to, to look at them and maybe feel that there is a piece of them represented in Inside, these pictures yeah. somehow. So. I think that all of us have a little hidden spirit or an inner muse that 
is just dying to get out sometimes. So that's why I made these pictures to reflect that, that hidden spirit in people. Okay. I like it. I like the bass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. It was a it was great to make these. Um, it definitely pushed the boundaries for me, uh, creatively anyway. But um, yeah, but they they definitely are special to me. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm noticing a trend with the uh, animals here. Do you have a story behind that or? Well, um, I personally love animals a lot, and I think a lot of other people do, so what better way to represent animals than to put clothes on them? Yeah, exactly. I just think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> So there's actually something else I can show you too if you're interested. It's uh, going to be part of my future book. Okay. All right. Let's follow check me. it out. So this is the book series that I'm currently working on. This is a story about um, a little alien named Norb who lives on a planet without light, and he is a dreamer just like me, uh, and he tries to find ways to discover light. Um, you got to read the book first before okay, I can tell yeah. you how he does that. But it's catching yep, so this, stars this is here him catching the stars that he discovered. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just—he's kind of me in a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> so, and then this—this uh, this is actually done on cardboard and watercolor wow. to give it that effect. Well, I'd just like to thank you for being a part of the local experiment and having us at the art exhibit. I'm just wondering before I go, how long is this going to be happening? This is actually going through June 8th, so um, it's open Wednesday through Sunday, uh, okay. various times, but feel free to stop on out again. Okay, definitely tell my friends. Hey. It was nice to, uh, <laughs> to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. Thanks for everything. See you later. Bye.